Hi, I'm Stuart Sigurd, Director of Rail for Brown Rail Equipment. Here today to show you how to properly engage and disengage and operate our hydrostatic remote drive system. Push the clutch pedal in. Turn key and start the truck. While holding clutch pedal down, engage remote drive PTO and release clutch. Next step, turn on remote drive power. Next, we take the radio from its holder, verify that the e-stop is out, the parking brake is engaged, the high idle is off. Next, turn the radio on, black button, right hand side, quarter turn forward, You'll get a green light blinking here. And then you sync the radio by hitting the green button. The horn signifies that the radio and the receiver are synced to each other. Verify that the creep display reads creep off. Flip up red cover and engage remote drive. When engaged, display will read creep on and the warning light will show that the remote drive is engaged. Next you'll get out of the truck, take the radio, put the strap around your neck, and put one, sh one shoulder through the strap. Keep the radio on you at all times, do not set it on the truck. PTO in this instance means push to operate. Most functions on this radio will not work without the push to operate button depressed. To move the truck, release the parking brake, Press the push to operate. Your speed and direction are controlled by the joystick. The further you move it, the faster it will go. You can also increase the speed by turning the high idle control on. Another feature that is available is you can start and stop the engine with the radio. Press the push to operate and do engine stop. Hold the button down till the engine is completely stopped. When you want to start the truck again, just press engine start. Congratulations, you have now properly engaged the Brown Hydrostatic Remote Drive System and you can go to work. Now when we're done with working, I'll show you how to properly disengage the hydrostatic remote drive system. Be sure your parking brake switch is engaged. Turn your high idle to off. Next we get back into the truck. Next we disengage the remote drive, close red cover down. Display should go from creep on to creep off. Do not move the truck until display reads creep off. Severe driveline damage could occur if you do. Verify that warning light is off. Next we turn the radio off. Just turn the black knob back a quarter turn to shut it off. Take radio, put it back in its holster. Next turn remote drive power off and then disengage remote drive PTO. Push your clutch in, turn button off, release your clutch.